you're not overreacting. It is your favorite minister of menstruation, Candice Chirwa, with another video. And this time, we are tackling all you need to know about your flow on birth control. Some women will use birth control at some point in their lives. Birth control helps protect you from falling pregnant when you are sexually active. There are different kinds of birth control methods that men and women can use to prevent pregnancy. Although many birth control methods have hormones, there are methods you can use that don't. Birth control works by either making sure that a woman does not ovulate or that an egg does not get fertilized by a sperm cell. Ovulation is when an egg is released from a woman's ovaries every month. Birth control can also affect the uterus, aka the womb, by making its lining thin so an egg can't be implanted if it does get fertilized. The lining of the uterus sheds if you are not pregnant and forms part of what comes out as your period. When you are on some birth control methods, you will notice some spotting, which is light vaginal bleeding that happens outside your regular period. There are hormonal and non-hormonal birth control methods that exist in the South African market. They are male and female condoms, the pull, the injection, the implant, the hormonal IUD and non-hormonal IUD and the hormonal IUD is not available in public health care facilities, sterilization, emergency contraception which is also known as the morning after pull, the patch which is only available via private doctor and not at public health care facilities and the vaginal ring which again is only available at private doctors and not at your public health care facilities. Control methods can increase bleeding and some can decrease it. Your period can be longer, shorter, heavier or lighter depending on the method of birth control. What's always important to know when first starting with birth control is that spotting and irregular bleeding are common side effects of most methods, especially in the first three months of use. So let's go through the most commonly used prevention methods, shall we? The birth control pills. No matter which birth control pill you are taking, you may experience irregular spotting or bleeding during the first few months of taking the pill. Spotting can also result from forgetting to take a pill or taking it late. So make sure you're always on time when taking the pill. Make sure to set a reminder. Next on the list is the injection. Irregular and unpredictable bleeding is very common for people using the injections such as Depot Provera. Some research studies state that after a year of use, about half of women will have no periods. T for tense. Next up is the intrauterine device, AKA the IUD. There are two types of IEDs available, the copper IED and the hormonal IED. With the copper IED, which lasts 10 years, you'll most likely experience spotting between periods and heavier, longer, and more painful periods in the first three to six months. With the hormonal IED, which can be effective for five years, spotting between periods and regular periods are common in the first three to six months. The implant might sound a little space age, but it's highly effective and an easy to hide contraceptive. It's about the same size of a matchstick and the implant is placed just below the skin of your upper arm, which is where it releases hormones. The most common side effect is irregular bleeding, also known as spotting, especially in the first six to 12 months. But most people on the implant report having lighter periods or their periods stop completely. After getting your birth control, your trusted medical advisor will inform you of the side effects to look out for. If you notice any side effects that have not been spoken about with your doctor, it's important to call up and follow up to make sure everything is good. My love for you is like the IUD, long lasting and dependable. I hope this video has given you more clarity on the period and birth control. Bye!